Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and this morning I got some new spy photos of the 2022 Ford Ranger. I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy these spy photos. These show the new Ranger versus the current Ranger. We can kind of, kind of see some size comparisons. The new Ranger is obviously seriously camouflaged. You can't see a whole lot of the body lines, but we do know several things about this truck. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera around, and we'll show these photos on the screen, and we'll talk about what to expect for the 2022 Ford Ranger coming on sale later on this year. Let's go ahead and get started on all that right now. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into these spy photos so we can see the image on the screen. This is the, what we're considering the 2022, could be the 2023, we don't know timing yet. COVID's kind of messed with all that kind of stuff. So one of the things interesting with this view of it is you can kind of see that there's twin bars behind the camouflage. And what they're saying is, spy trackers are saying and other people are theorizing, it's a range is going to have a lot of look like the F-150 behind it. See those C-channel lights back there and the twin bar across? They're guessing the front end of this new Ford Ranger will mirror front end of the F-150. When the new Ford Ranger came out several years ago, it just was kind of a carryover from European design. And they're thinking this new redesign is going to be a lot more Americanized. I'm going to learn what's going on. So we can kind of we'll zoom in a little bit closer. You can see that right there. And there are some questions about whether this is a wild track variant or maybe more of a, a Ranger vari or Ranger Raptor variant or just a new FX4 package because um, it's not so high off the ground. We can see a little, looks like a little front fascia there and you can kind of get that closer idea of what those lights can look like. So as we scroll around these photos and this has got the tracks in the top and here's one by itself. This is, looks like a crew cab. Um, it's hard to tell with so many spy photos, but we can see there's just a single exhaust in the back. There's conversation about doing a hybrid with this, which we'll talk about in a minute. Conversation about diesel. There's conversation about the 2.7 liter coming down from the Bronco for an FX4 or a uh, Raptor variant, replacing the 2.3. You see that long exhaust pipe. So um, they're definitely testing some sort of engine combination in here. Typically, those exhausts are more finished than that is, just sticking out. And we have some Goodyear Wranglers. Uh, these look to be about a half inch taller than the regular tires that they use in the Ranger. So this leads us to believe it's a little bit more of an off-road variant um, as we kept going around. And here we go. This is, this is a really cool photo. These are the new R Ranger Tremor. This is a new package that came out. And you can see that next to the prototype. You can see what I'm talking about, that tail tailpipe. That tailpipe is just sticking out so weird. And so, or they, they may be thinking about moving the tailpipe to put it more in the back like uh, GM does with their products too, um, instead of the side exhaust. But side exhaust is really popular, so it's kind of a really interesting look there. But we can see the size is probably about the same. Um, the nose looks a little bit different, just, well, and camouflage doesn't really help, but the rest of the body looks pretty different. Looks like there may be new tail lights in the back too. Um, as we, we can scroll around and see a little bit for these photos and we can see kind of close up. So we have, uh, you can't really tell much suspension back there. You can see that frame hanging down a little bit. You can see they're towing something. They have that, they have the hitch, but they don't have the ball in the hitch. So they're definitely testing out the towing a little bit too, which that leads me to believe is more of a powertrain test because, you know, when they do powertrain testing, they need to know the transmission temperature, the engine temperature, how max can tow. There's a J2807 standard they have to follow. And we come around, looks like the bumper is the same as what it's been and can't see a whole lot else as we go through these photos. And then here's a black and white version. This is a camouflage version from a couple months ago. And you can see those C-channel lights kind of set up there. And you can see that twin bar across the front. This is what we've known so far. And we can see that with the Bronco behind, which is a really cool image. Um, and you see kind of, you know, if it's testing with the Bronco, it leads me to believe it's more like FX4. See how much higher that Bronco bumper is off the ground. That's going to lead me to believe this, this prototype here is definitely like an FX4 or, or maybe the uh, new Tremor variant, that kind of thing. Let's see it driving around. It must have been a really good day in Michigan when they took these photos. Uh, you see the, yep, so that's about the same. You see, you see the bumper is about the same. Tail, light, tail lights, I mean, they cut them out, but it looks like they may be working on something a little bit different there. And... The frame all looks the same. I don't, hard to see the suspension from this angle. Get up closer. Yeah, I see suspension so far, but. So those are, those are really um, the images that I have of the no, new Ford Bronco, or Ford, Ford Ranger. I had that Bronco in my mind. That Bronco was really cool looking. See that window in the back. This one doesn't have any sort of opening for the window in the back.
So there you go, that's what I have for you for spy photos in 2022 or 2023 Ford Ranger. With COVID pushing stuff back, we anticipate this going on sale later, second half of this year, but we haven't heard anything from Ford yet and it's already going to be second half of the year. Uh, pricing is going to be somewhere starting around 30000 like it is currently. So you have the squared off front end, you see shaped lights. There's conversation about like a Raptor variant uh, that would use a 2.7 liter V6 from like the Bronco. They're, that's what they're going to put down in that. Um, I could see that as a separate launch. That could be a 2024 if they do something like that. There is conversation about a hybrid like they have in the F-150. Um, my concern always, we've talked about this Maverick, we've talked about this with Ranger. My concern is always price point. It's a really expensive price point. Um, you're adding 3000 or three to 4000 depending on trim level to that vehicle. And if you're already starting at 30, you know, you're looking at, you could do 40000 45. I mean, the, it is out there. The Canyon Denali does sell in that price range. So it's not unheard of. Um, I just don't know that there's much benefit as far as uh, fuel economy in this type of, of truck as in the hybrid. I mean, the F-150 hybrid, the 2.3, 2. 2. Uh, no, the, the 2.7 liter uh, 6 gets almost better fuel economy in the highway than the hybrid does. The hybrid gets better in the city. So I don't know if there's much call for that in the size of the truck. Uh, there is a lot of questions about power on board. So as you know, Ford has done some power on board as far as an onboard generator, they've done this for the Raptor. They've done it for the F-150. Um, I could see a 2.0 kilowatt hookup, which is standard gas engine. It seems like a pretty easy um, adoption for them to do as far as putting that in that truck with that powertrain. To get the full benefits of the more kilowatt per, per hour generator, you have to go with the hybrid. So that could be a case for the hybrid coming in there. But you know, so if you do the full 7.2 kilowatt, you're a thousand bucks on top of the hybrid cost. So, you know, you, it's quite an expensive pickup when you put all that stuff together. So I'm not sure if that's going to really um, make sense from a financial standpoint. I'm not sure there's a market for that, but I'm sure Ford's talking about that. You know, what, what a take rate would be as far as what people would want from that truck, how many people would buy it. Is it worthwhile to do the, to build it? I mean, there's a lot of conversation going on. We also haven't seen any photos yet, but we can guarantee there's, there's going to be a new interior setup. Um, the current interior is kind of old Ford. You know, it's, it's just, it doesn't have a lot of wow factor to it. Uh, the new interior, like new F-50 interior, um, has the bigger screen, has uh, much more visually appealing. And so I could see the, see the Ranger definitely getting a new interior. I mean, they're doing a lot. Ford Bronco's got cool stuff. F-50's got cool stuff. I think the Ranger's going to get it too. So with lots of changes coming out, expect almost a, it's almost like a full brand new pickup. There's conversations about staying on the same platform it currently is, but when you have interior changes and you have new exterior changes and you do all sorts of different things, I don't know, is that a full refresh or is it full re redesign? I mean, there's a conversation had either way in that. So there's really interesting stuff. Again, I expect 2022 model would be this fall, would be hit the, hit the sale deal lots, say late October, in November, December at this point with the way the timing is, um, until we, unless we hear the reveal happening sooner. Um, it usually takes three to four months since re from reveal to get to the dealership lots. Uh, through manufacturing, get some on the, the um, transports into the dealership. So I could see something happening then. Um, I could also see Ford waiting for 2023, you know, with the microchip shortage, with seat foam shortages. I heard something the other day about tire shortages. I mean, it's hard to launch a new vehicle right now when you have so many things that are, you know, pushing production off and you're having to stop production of certain vehicles like the F-150 was. They have cut production different things at different times. So I can see them pushing it off. But the problem with that aspect is, is these product calendars are set up for seven, 10 years in advance. So you really can't push things back too far or you really disrupt the entire calendar. So it's really interesting to see. So there you go, there's my, that's my thoughts. Those are the spy photos I bought, that's what's going on. So hey, check the video out here, website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.